Here's everything you need to know if you're dealing with extremely large data pipelines. So in my career at Facebook, Netflix, and Airbnb, I've worked with a couple hyperscale pipelines that were processing more than maybe like 100 terabytes an hour. And there's a couple big pain points that happen with these tables. One is around storage and you need to make sure to not hold on to very much of the data because if you're holding on to 100 terabytes an hour, that means it's two petabytes a day. And that might means in a month, you're looking at like 60 petabytes or that's like 60 million gigabytes. And that's a, a lot of gigabytes. You probably want to uh, minimize the storage there and you're going to be paying Jeff Bezos a lot of money if you're trying to hold on to 60 million gigabytes. So that's one. Another big thing is, is around how do you manage it in terms of compute. So if you're doing joins with this big table, like the other side of the join better be small. So you have to use a thing called a broadcast join. So you can do the join without shuffling. And that is going to be way more efficient because shuffling is just not an option when you have this very, very large amount of data. You definitely want to not shuffle. You want to either use a broadcast join or another option is you sort and bucket the data ahead of time. And then you do what's called a sorted bucket merge join or SMB join. And then that's another way that you can do these high volume joins without shuffle. And both of those options are pretty effective. I personally like the broadcast join better, but that only works if the other side of the join is fairly small, like less than 10 gigabytes. And so if you're doing two large table sizes trying to join together, uh, bucket joining is pretty much the only option that you really have. And I used a lot of bucket joining when I was at Facebook, especially when I was working in notifications, because a lot of the times that cardinality data was just so high and I had to do like notification, join notification. And that was a very, very beastly data set to generate. So yeah, the two big things that I think are the most important things to remember. One is managing retention and storage. And then two is managing shuffle when you're working with the pipelines. And so if you can do those two things correctly, then you will be able to manage hyperscale pipelines in a way that's not going to make Jeff Bezos millions of dollars. So yeah, if you like this content, follow for more.